Hello my pinkies and welcome back to another plan with me video and it's Friday yay because this is the last video of the month I do want to show you guys the sneak peek for next month mystery kit June mystery kit so those of you who don't have Instagram account you guys can see it through here and to follow the color scheme of the kits I've decided to open up a few more spots in our mystery kit subscription and you could find that under our website. I'll put the link down below and those of you guys who missed out last month, you guys could sign up again this month. It is open and it's there on the website. However, it will be closed by May 5th. Same with the pre-orders. Pre-orders will start May 1st and end on May 5th. Okay, so back to our plan with me. As you can see, there's something different. Oh my gosh! Yes, I've introduced printables into our Etsy shop. I only made three, as you can see here. They are listed in the printable section. So far, they are only made for Happy Planner. However, you could use this actually in your Erin Condren. That's for sure because you can always adjust it or cut it because it is a printable. The way I've created this is a one whole grid as you can see that it makes it easier for everyone to cut and you don't have to backtrack on cutting so it's one straight line horizontally or vertically and you'll get your stickers because I know last year when I didn't even have my machines I was cutting all stickers by hand and it was a pain in the bum so I just want to make it easier for everyone. So this plan with me, we're going to plan from April 24th to April 30th. Let's start planning. What you need is the following items. A cutting mat, an exacto knife, a 12 to 15 inch ruler, and a pair of scissors. But in the end, if you don't have any of those, basically you just need a pair of scissors. So with the cutting, you could cut straight down vertically like this and cut into columns or you could cut horizontally into rows. It depends on how you plan for me. I like to cut it into rows because everything is in a row and it saves me time to um, place down the stickers instead of individually peel each sticker so I could just cut the roll of to-dos or cut the roll of washies because I know I'll be placing it next to each other. So first I'm just going to trim the borders off. I do keep these because you will see that I will be using them to help me peel the stickers. So I'm just going to trim it off. And now I'm going to trim my horizontal rows. So as I said earlier before, that I know all my to-do stickers is going to be in the same row. So I'm just going to trim this off from the original print like this and make it into a row on itself. And next I'm just going to trim everything down to size, the half boxes, the full boxes, the quarter boxes, and my todays. On the second page, you will see that you will get 10 full ombre heart check boxes and some checklist flags with a lot of appointment boxes. In, in the printable kits, you will not see any functional icons. It's because I assume that a lot of you guys will have your own stickers. And to me, functional icons are very detailed. Either they're circular, I could do them square, but it's just so tiny and pain in the bum to cut. So that's why I left it out. Just like the first page, I'm just gonna trim off the border. And once that's done, I'm gonna trim it down to its own section, the ombre heart check boxes and the washi. Now that I have everything that I need, it's time to start planning. So as you can see, I usually have a difficult time peeling with uh, my thumbs. So what I do is that I take this excess border that I saved up from the scraps. I'm going to peel that, make it into a loop with the sticky side up. So you want the sticky part to face up, not inside of the loop. So it's facing up. As you can see now, it's a circular ring or hoop and you just place it on any finger you like. I like to put it on my pointer and you purse, 
first. You press firmly at the back of the page that you want to peel and it should lift the sticker off as you can see here. See it's lifting it off. So that's the easiest, quickest way that I know to peel a sticker without damaging the corners or you're constantly trying to peel it off with your fingers. So here as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, four ombre heart check boxes. However, I only needed three and I'm not picky about where the color should go and this is gonna go in a row. So I'm just gonna cut one off and use the three and just place it down. As you can see, I did not cut the backing off because now it makes it easier for me to peel the last piece off. Next, I'm going to do my headers. As you can see, I did not peel all my backing off because I do want to save the last two sticker for me to peel easily. So here I am just lining it up. And then with this washi or sticker, you could just take any kind of card, ruler, anything and just press it down and rip it off. And now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to do the loop technique. Same thing here, I'm gonna show you. Press it down really firmly and it should automatically peel itself off from the label itself. You can always reuse this loop because just turn it around on the other side and it's ready for another peel. I'm gonna put that aside here and then because this is going to be a four box, I'm just gonna lay the sticker down. Just be careful when you do lay down big stickers because it's harder because you don't wanna be crooked. And here, <laughs> I know I made it crooked. So I'm just gonna try to fix it the best I can and just smooth it down a bit. With the printables, you could print as much as you want. So if you want to do another roll of to-dos, you can always print it out. If not, you could use the rest of the to-dos and then fill in the weekends or anything with the other headers that I do provide with the printables. And once again, I'm going to show you how amazingly easy this technique is because I don't want to damage the corners of my stickers or bend it. And this is just a clean peel. And same with the backing, I do not rip it off. As you can see, I'm just trying to roll it because it just makes it so much easier to peel the other stickers off the next time you use it. With the full boxes now, I'm not that picky with my printables, so I'm just gonna line up which way I like it or how I go by it and as you can see here it's going to be a three box sticker so I just peel the backing off but not peel it off entirely and just use a pair of scissors to cut out the three boxes. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. As I mentioned before that the printables do come with two washies here. With these washi you could adjust to how you want to place them. I'm going to place them at the bottom and measure out how much I need and just cut out the amount that I need. Here's another trick that I use. I don't really have pens around me or when you don't have pen, you just use the exact knife and just nick it a bit. And you do that to the top and the bottom. Use the exacto knife to just nick it a bit here on the end and that's it. And just line the two nicks together and put your knife through the piece of paper.
I'm also going to do the same thing with the other washi, measure it out, and place them down. And with the other rest of the washi, I decided to use it on top of my full boxes just to line off the section itself. Once that's done, I usually work on my today section now. So before I start anything, I always put down my meal plan stickers. This is my meal plan sticker sheet here and I'm going to use this green because it matches the green in the printable. Next, I'll be placing down my today headers. As you can see, it's still in a row. So I'm just gonna do three days and just cut off the third day instead of individually cutting them daily stickers. Now we're gonna put down my appointment boxes for the little things that's gonna happen that day. I'm just gonna trim it off from the section top here. So I am a very forgetful person. <laughs> so I do pre-plan in my Kate Spade before I plan in my actual planner so that I know what is expected for this week. So with this week, there is a few major things that's happening each day. So I'm just gonna line the top part with my half boxes. So this week's gonna be pretty busy for me because I do plan to do two endurance run on Monday and Wednesday, meaning that I run till I drop <laughs> and it's usually two hours run outside and on the 25th I have a mini project to do for my little girl she needs a costume for the 26th so Elvis me leaving everything last minute so I'm not sure why my camera went out of focus suddenly here but because it's multicultural day at her school on Thursday, Friday, this school requires all students to be at school earlier than usual on Friday to prepare for the events. So I'm just gonna indicate that with my little girl sticker here. Usually Mondays and Fridays are my grocery days or Thursday, but it's gonna be Friday this week. I also usually do my filming of Plan With Me's on Friday. Weekends are usually filled with city programs, so I'm going to indicate that with my little girls. And now for the sidebar, with the printables, it comes with 10 full boxes, as you can see here. And I've already used 7, so I have 3 left. So I'm just going to space the rest out and place them in the sidebar area. Now I am just going through my Mambi quote book stickers and just finding some stickers that I don't have with the kit. For example, the weekend banner, if you do need a weekend banner, I went to the Mambi sticker book and just picked this one because the color matches the weekly spread. Also found another one that I like. And there we go. I think we're done. I'm just going to place it back into my planner. And ta-da! So I hope you guys enjoy this plan with me video. It's different. It's a new thing that's in my shop, the printables. I'll be continuously adding a few more um, down the line of this month or next month. And as I mentioned before, I did try to format or make it easy for you all to cut and print and also make your planner look beautiful with the designs. Thank you guys for watching and remember June Mystery Kits will be up on Monday, well, Sunday night, midnight, and will be running till May 5th. I wish you all a happy planning and a happy weekend, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!